it's Sam. Today, I'm my battery's flashing, I gotta be really quick. I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me using my favorite products right now. This is like my go-to look. I absolutely love this foundation. The primer combo is amazing. It's just my absolute favorite at the moment. And then I got some new eyeshadow that we're playing with today, new mascara, Just I'm just getting ready with you guys. With most, most of the stuff is like my go-to stuff. I have a couple, like the eyeshadow is new, um, but yeah. It's just a, a good get ready with me. It's Christmas Eve. I show you how to do my hair as well. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Ah, I will link everything down below. It's been a hectic video. I've had the kids coming in, all the things, but um, I hope you guys enjoy this and everything will be linked down below. And let's go ahead and get started. So the very first thing I'm gonna take is the Power Grip Primer. It's really sticky, so don't be alarmed if you're like doing it and you're like, why do I literally feel like I'm putting glue on? Takes about 30 seconds to dry. And then I go in with my second primer, the Bright Putty Primer. I'm just gonna go in with my finger and just go a little bit right there. And this really does help to fill in the pores and kind of smooth everything out. I do a little bit right here because my pores are pretty big right there. And then I go right here in my smile lines because it kind of helps to fill it out. And then I just get right here as well. Okay, so for foundation, I recently reviewed this on TikTok and I was like seriously so obsessed with it. It is so beautiful. It's the Very Valentino Light Lasting Perfecting Foundation. So I have the color MN3, very, very liquidy. It just like is so thin on the skin. So it looks so, so pretty. It like doesn't look heavy or thick or cakey. Nothing collects or builds up. It's like the consistency of a serum. I'm like literally paler by the day. I was a little bit tanner when I did this the other day. It's like each time you shower, there goes your tan. It's so depressing. <laughs> it's like I never want to shower because then my tan will come off and then you have to redo it all over again. So I always take it up onto my ears. It's $67, so it's definitely a little bit up there. However, well worth it. You know, if your face looks amazing all day, it doesn't collect. It doesn't enhance your fine lines and wrinkles. It doesn't sit into them. And I just feel like my skin looked so youthful the day that I wore it. And Jay even said, um, cause I hadn't told him that I was like switching my foundation. And he's like, are you wearing something different today? And I said, yeah, why? And he said, your skin looks so good. Like he's like, I keep looking at you and I just can't figure out like what looks different about you. He's like, but you look so young and just like bright and like youthful and I was like, oh my God, that's exactly what I want in my life. I wanna look young and bright and glowy without looking like a greasy freaking French fry. I just love this foundation. I think it's amazing. I love the color. I love the formula. I just think it's fab. Sorry, that was the Milk Makeup Fair concealer. It's a flax one. They stopped carrying it at Sephora, but you can still get it on Milk Makeup. So I'll just link it down for you guys. And then this one's a slight bit lighter. It's the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in light peach. Alone, the Milk Makeup one is a little bit, it's not quite light enough for me and it's also not quite full coverage enough. And then the e.l.f. camo concealer alone is too light and a little bit too thick. It's like a little bit heavier coverage. So I like to mix them together because I feel like together they are perfect. So I just go onto my eyelid and I go down my face. Just kind of blend it out like that. Hi, Chick. Hi. How are you? Good. What are you doing? Oh, there's a line on my nose. I'm just filming. What are you doing? Just eating some breakfast. Was it yum? Uh, Did you have the elf cereal? Um, I had Lucky Charms. Oh, you didn't have elf cereal on Christmas Eve? I, they, they didn't have any at Target. Oh, they didn't? No. Oh, I thought you guys got some. No, we only got Lucky Charms because it didn't have any. Whatever is left on my little powder puff, right after my concealer, I will just pop it into the smile lines here. Because otherwise, if I don't do it right away, I feel like stuff starts to settle in them because there's no powder in them yet. So that's what I've been doing lately is I immediately just put whatever is left, mainly in this one right here, because this one is so deep. I just kind of pop it like this. Now I'm taking the Laura Mercier Celestial Light 
and I just, before I powder or anything, I apply this right where you would put your highlight. And I kind of bring it down onto the cheek. Then, whatever is left on the brush, I go into my under eye with. I don't know, that might sound weird. This is technically a setting powder, so it's very, very fine. However, I would not recommend setting with it because it's very, very glowy. So for me, it's like a really finely milled highlight, but when you put it underneath your eyes, you don't want to put the majority. It's just whatever's left on your brush after you do the highlight part. But when you put it underneath your eyes, it really helps to illuminate the under eye. And it just makes your under eye look so bright. Then I go in with my bronzer. This is super old, you can't get it, but I'm like having a really hard time with bronzers at the moment. I just feel like the ones that I have are breaking me out. And they don't make the one that I used to love anymore, which I'm so sad about, the Dune from Beauty Counter. Literally, that was the best bronzer ever. The other one that I really love that doesn't break me out is the Clay de Poe, or however you say it. Um, I went to pick it up at Nordstrom the other day, but they were sold out of the color I wanted, which was number two. All right, I'm having to kind of go over to the side because my mirror is right behind the camera, so I, I can't see if I look through the camera. I'm just coming over to the side. So I'm just gonna go, and this is nice because it has a bit of glow. I'm wondering if like the Too Faced Sun Bunny would basically be the same, because it's a very kind of like illuminating bronzer. And I just feel like that is just, I don't know. I don't know about matte bronzers anymore. I just feel like they're so harsh. They don't really blend into the hairline as well. And they just look a little like heavy. I feel like it's nice when you have a bit of a glow because it just looks a little softer. So I just go underneath here. And then I just go like right along the jaw. And then I start just blending down whatever is left. And it kind of sets the foundation that you brought down anyway. So that it's not like, not that it feels wet anyway, but then it just, you know, it's like extra, extra set. I kind of more packed on this side just because I have so many scars right now and i think i have like maybe two actual active zits so i kind of just pounce it so that i'm not disturbing the foundation underneath and then taking it away from all those scars so i kind of just go like this and just make sure everything is blended just under here i just kind of go down the sides of my nose and then just underneath and that helps to kind of slim it out. I just get a tiny little brush and I just get a little bit of the bronzer and I just go right across like that. And it just kind of helps to like lift the nose at the tip. Okay, now I'm moving on to blush. This is the Doll Beauty Pretty Fly Glow Getters in Vacation. It's so shimmery and pretty. So I'm just going to pop that just on my cheeks and it's so pretty because it kind of ties the highlighter into the blush because it's so glowy so I'd like to put this one down first so you just have like a glow underneath the skin can you guys see how pretty that is oh yeah you can it is like seriously so glowy and beautiful I take my little puff like this and I just go right down the side of my nose and then up like that then I dip in again for the other side and I go right down the side of my nose and up like that and then whatever is left on the pup I just start Pressing the powder in to the rest of my face. And I really press it in. Like I'm pressing quite firmly. I 
and this powder like seriously just fills in all the pores makes your face look flawless makes it look like you're like face tuning but you're not it's seriously just so amazing whatever is left on my puff i will take up onto the cheeks just because i have scars there it really does help to like fill in scars wrinkles pores all the things and i take a fresh batch on my forehead <coughs> just because my pores are really big there and i take it over my eyebrows too so that my eyebrow pencil sticks down better so i've pushed it all in already so now I'm just gonna actually bake with it. And that just really helps to kind of chisel out my face. I don't know, it just like makes everything look so much better at the end. From here, I always go on to lips. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hello Talk. like I can't see <laughs> so I just fill in the whole bottom and then I just kind of blend in the corners then I take Mac myth and I just do a little bit in the center like this and a little bit right there and then I blend it out with my finger. This is the Tarte, or I'm sorry, Awake by Tarte Watermelon Lip Therapy Lip Mask. So I just take a little bit of this. It's really hot, like watermelon color. So I put this on the bottom. And then I take the purple. Oh, I really need my spatula. Uh, I call it my nail barf. <coughs> and this one smells so insane. It's <coughs> like grape. Then <coughs> I mix them together and it creates the most perfect look at that they're so glossy so then we're gonna move on to there's like one little hair and I see it and it's buzzing around me this is when I'll usually take my hair down usually I just have like a little top bun but I put it all up while I was doing my hair or I'm sorry doing my skincare because it was annoying me but I'm just gonna redo my little top bun because I felt like it wasn't very tight and I like it to be nice and tight when I do my eyes because then I can really see where my eyes would be if they were lifted so That's why I like to have it nice and pulled up at the top because then it really gives me a bit of a brow lift. Looking great. I slept with it in a braid last night so it's a little bit wild. But see how that's just like lifted my face? Okay, this is the Brow Stylist Definer from L'Oreal. The color that I have is dark blonde. So I just kind of like brush up the little bit of brow that I do have, which you can see is hardly any aesthetic. And I kind of extend the tail. So I fill all of that in like that and then same on the other side. Um, okay, next I'm taking the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen in Ash Brown. Okay, 
Okay, we just put little brow strokes in. Same on this side. Oh, that will wipe off later. We'll let it dry. Okay, then I take the Grande Brow 2-in-1 Tinted Brow Gel and Brow Enhancing Serum. So this is a tinted brow gel and I have the color light, but it's also um, a growth serum for your brows. So I'm really hoping that over time we can grow these babies back because I use it every single time I do my makeup. I just kind of brush all of the hairs up. Okay, the next thing I do, oh, it's broken, is take my Red Aspen Pearl Crown Highlighter, which has all crumbled. And I just take that little brush that I used on my nose, I make sure I wipe it off first. And I just get a little bit of that, and it's a really pretty highlighter. It just kind of helps to highlight the brown, the, the brown bone. <laughs> the brow bone without being like too much just gives it a nice little glow so I'm just gonna take this little bit away that I messed up then we're gonna move on to eyeshadow this is the red aspen fulfilled palette you can see I've used it until it's almost up <laughs> I'm like literally scraping the last little bit so I take this color, I really just have to push my brush in there. And then this color, this color, and I just go back and forth into my crease. And I actually have some new colors that I wanna try today. Normally I would do Moonstone from Bobbi Brown on the lid. It's always the same crease color, but it's Moonstone on the lid for some sparkle. Kitten Kaleidoscope from Stila or um, Space Cowboy or Lithium from Urban Decay or Solstice. Those are like my favorites at the moment, but I just got this new one from Target Collection for ColourPop and it looks really, really pretty. So I wanna play with it today and see what it looks like. So I basically just go back and forth in my crease, sorry, I've got to stand over here a little bit. Hopefully it's still focusing. Just because I cannot see what I'm doing. This viewfinder, like you can kind of tell, but you really can't. So we're just going to, I kind of like to pull it up just to kind of make my eye look like it's real sensual. Sensual and lifted. So see how if you kind of pull it up, like up towards the brow, it just like lifts the face. It makes you look all young and fab. Okay, so this is the color that I just got. I'm super excited about it. Look at that, it's like mermaidy. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Rooftop Cocktails. I probably already own it to be honest, but who knows if I do or not. It's like this really shifty. It's actually very similar to the Solstice from Urban Decay. They're like pretty much the exact same color. I'm just taking a little fluffy brush. This is the Farah 35E Tapered Blending. And I'm just like really getting it in there. And we're gonna start putting this all over the, the lid. And I'm blending it into my crease. And that's what I like about these ColourPop Super Shock Shadows is that you can actually do this. It kind of takes away the intensity of the sparkle when you do it this way, but then you can always add more if you need to with your finger. But I like doing it like this because you kind of create like a super easy smoky eye. This is what I used to do years and years ago with DGAF, that was like my go-to color. Oh my God, that was like my favorite color. I loved it so much. Um, and then you can kind of just start blending it like up into your crease. 
but see how it's already given me like a smoky eye and it was so easy it's like so technically you wouldn't even have to do your first crease color if you didn't want to i just like to like you know give it a little extra dimension plus it helps to kind of build up my crease because my crease is kind of hooded so i'm just going back and forth on the lid and then building it up into the crease I'm gonna take that underneath my water lash or my lash line as well. So I'm just gonna get my little Moda Pro. I think I have this linked on my Amazon storefront. I love this brush, it's so good. I'm just going to work this underneath. Then I'm gonna dip in to my brown color right here, my dark brown, it's called Home. And I'm just going to give myself a wing. Doing it with a powder is so much easier. And if you have hooded eyes, it makes it so much softer and more flattering than like your liquid liner. And it's, I just think as you get older, it's nicer to have like more of a soft line than like a harsh liquid liner. If you don't have hooded eyes, it's really like, obviously you wouldn't necessarily need to, but I don't know. I just think there's something nice about a soft wing anyway. I just think it looks really pretty. Now I've got my winged liner done, I'm gonna go back in with my finger with that rooftop cocktails and I'm gonna press it on. Oh, see, it's so much more, like once you press it on, it's so much more, like you get so much more shimmer with your finger. But it's always good to just do the base. That way it's all blended out. Okay, so we'll do that. The other color that comes in the little duo from Target is La Mesa. And it's like this really pretty kind of champagne-y, like, oh, it's so pretty. So we're just gonna add a little bit of that on top. And that's gonna add a little extra sparkle because that one's a little bit more sparkly than the rooftop cocktails. Ooh, yeah, that's so pretty. Ah, oh, I love it. I'm gonna take my little Lord & Berry um, Silk Cajal Coal Eyeliner in 1002 Nudo. Sorry, I really need a drink. My voice is very dry. Then I'm gonna curl my lashes. And then I'm gonna take my Lancome Seals Booster XL. This is their lash primer number one. It conditions your lashes and makes them better over time. And number two, it just builds up your lashes so that underneath your mascara, you're, you have a little extra volume and length. This is new, I'm obsessed with it. It's the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift, the wand is very interesting it's more flat so it really does get you good it gets it right in there and maybe i can get up close and do it this way do you guys see how it puts so much down so it lifts your lashes like right look at that it lifts them right up So you do it with a flat part first, and then you kind of brush it out with the side bit, and then I go back with the flat part again. And like, look how open that eye looks compared to that one. It is amazing, it's such a good mascara. So you're basically just like painting it on with no bristle at first it's just going flat onto your, because of the flat part, it's going flat onto the, um, the lashes. And so it's just like 
ultimate lift, ultimate darkness. See how amazing that is? Looks like I have false lashes on. And I just do the side bit on the bottom ones. I don't go in with the flat part. I just do the part that actually has the bristles. Okay, so now, this is when I brush off my bake. This is just the Luxie 660 Precision Foundation. I need a drink. My throat is so dry. Oh, I got some Rivena for us for Christmas time. I always like to get it around the holidays. It's so expensive for us to get. Like, it's $50 for three bottles, so. For us, it's a little pricey, but it just like makes me feel like so festive. Like I love having it around the holidays. I usually get it around Christmas and then around the holidays, or I'm sorry, around my birthday. And it's so delicious, but it gives me the worst heartburn. I don't know what it is. I keep drinking it though. Mm. It's just so good. So this is the Ben Nye Super White and I just take a little fluffy brush this one's no longer available, unfortunately, but any kind of like fluffy eyeshadow brush would work. And I just go underneath the eyes like this. And I do this before I add more blush. And then I just make sure that I'm all nice and bright and looking alive. Then I take number 29 Fascinated from Sephora. Just go back over. And I top off my blush because obviously the first blush I put down, then I powder on top of it, but it makes it a really nice base because then that glow comes through. But then I actually need to like add color back to my face because then I look a little bit pale after that. So I add some to the top of my nose like this. Just a little bit right there just because it makes it look a little skinnier then I also add a little bit to my forehead like this just on the sides just to kind of warm up the face and I go back and I touch up my little highlight on my nose just so that it's still looking skinny then I take space cowboy with my highlighter brush and I just pop this all along my cheekbone and I take a little bit up top here and I just add a little sparkle 250,000 miles on a clean night in June this is the red aspen pearl crown I actually really like this shadow because it looks kind of green. So I feel like I'm being like really festive. You guys ever wake up with a song and then it's like stuck in your head? I woke up with a, whatever it's called. What is it called? Spaceman rocket ship from Eminem. I don't know what it's called. Maybe it's called Space, Space Bound, something like that. There's the finished eyes. See how sparkly that those two shadows are together? They're so pretty. There's the lashes. Can you guys believe it? Like seriously, who is this person with these lashes? It looks like I have falsies on, but I don't. This lash, this mascara is like literally the best mascara you'll ever use. And then there's the foundation. See how pretty it looks? It's so thin on the skin. Like it literally, I don't know why it's looking so dark in here. Yesterday the lighting was so great. I don't know what the difference is, but um, I did the exact same thing. But it just is, it, it's luminous, but it's not greasy but it's thin, it looks like my skin, but better. It's so pretty. And then what I've been doing lately is, I'll just do it like this. Taking the Good Girl Carolina Herrera, you can see I'm pretty pale at the moment because it took away all my self tanner. Literally just ate it all up. This is my natural color of whiteness. Um, it's actually quite impressive. I still do have a little bit of tan from summer. Like, I could be paler, but I definitely could be tanner. But I need to self-tan again, so. I just love, I love my skin's texture when it's not tanned. 
because it's so much smoother and softer and more supple. Like the self tanner kind of dries out my skin, but then I just love the color of the self tanner, but you can't have everything. So you gotta pick, do you wanna be tan or do you wanna be supple? So I usually pick tan and then I just slather my body with body lotion, but this Carolina Herrera one, it's amazing when you're not self tanned because it, it just makes you smell so good, but it just eats your tan up like nobody's business. Like it's so bad. They might as well just call it tan remover because it just took my tan away. Like I did a fresh tan, then I put this on the next day and then my tan was like so splotchy and I was like, ugh, what the heck? And then I always put this, I'm gonna try not to flash you. Where's my boobs? I put this all over my whole entire chest. So see how it just automatically gives you just a little bit of a sheen. You're like looking all hydrated. I think today I'm gonna wear Prada Paradox. Look at that, I'm almost out of it. That one's a good one. Then I'll smell amazing. Oh, well, I'll spray my hair when I'm all done. On my chest, I like to spray this. It's the Silver Sparkle Hair and Body Queen Silver Glitter Spray from Eva NYC. This is literally the most beautiful sparkle. Just wait. Are my boobs in? They're not in, okay, good. You don't need to spray much. Do you guys see? I literally do this every day. I don't care where I'm going. I don't need to be going out partying to, to sparkle. I just love it on my neck. It's like so pretty. And then on my arms, because even if I'm wearing a sweatshirt, sometimes I lift up my arm. I don't want to look not sparkly. I don't know, I just love to glitter. I just love to sparkle in my next life. I'm just gonna be Edward Cullen. It's gonna be great. I'll come back as a vampire. I'm gonna shimmer in the sun and I'm not gonna hide in Oregon in the in the cloudiness. <laughs> I'm gonna go in the sun. It's gonna be wonderful. This is my whole life, I've planned it out. This is the um, JD Glow Cosmetics I'm Glowing Shimmering Body Mist. It is literally the finest little, I spray my hands too. I don't, I, I just want my whole entire being to sparkle. I could spray it all over my face. Actually, I kinda wanna do it one day and just see what it looks like. I feel like it would be so pretty, like as a setting mist, and then your whole face just sparkles. I kind of want to do it to my forehead. Mm -hmm. Is that a good, no, it's a bad choice. I'm not gonna do it. I'll do it on another day when I'm not leaving the house. We'll see what it looks like. Um, so this is quite wet. So then I just kind of waft it like this. And then when it dries down, it comes out like a water. It's not oil. So when it dries down, you're just left, eh, with these tiny little delicate silver sparkles all over your body, but it's not oily, it's not greasy, it's not a body oil, it's literally a mist. So then you just, can you guys see the little glitters? No, it just looks wet right now. But they're super delicate and super duper beautiful. And the only thing is that, you know, it's quite wet, so it just takes it. This is why I always wear a dressing gown when I'm getting ready, because this is all the steps that I do but it just leaves these gorgeous little sparkles all over the skin. Yeah, you can see. And it's literally, see how pretty that is? It's so delicate. It just adds like this gorgeous little sparkle. And then my neck's all sparkly from that other one. And that other one is a dry sparkle spray. It's for your hair, but you can use it on your body so there's no wetness at all. It's just a dry sparkle. It just sprays you with, with glitter. And then you don't have to wait around for it to dry or anything like that. If you like to sparkle, you absolutely need those two products in your life. They are so good. They are so beautiful. And I don't know if you like go out at night and you like, you know, are under the, the little lights wherever you go. It's so pretty, so it's such a good idea for New Year's Eve. If you're gonna go out, have some fun, definitely get that stuff, it's amazing. Okay guys, so that is everything that I do to get ready in the morning, and then now I have to do my hair. It's so hard being me. I'm 
gonna have to curl it. So I'm just gonna use my Conair. This is a one and a half inch. It is looking a little rough and dry at the end. So I'm just taking the Frizzies Serum from John Frieda and I'm just gonna pop that in my hair to soften it because it was looking a little fuzzy and dry. See how that serum already made it so much more shiny and smooth? Look at that. It was like so dry looking before. So I'm just going to quickly put some curls in it because this is not the vibe right now. It's looking a little rough. So the nice thing about taking the one and a half inch curling iron is that you can actually take really big sections. So it's very quick and it doesn't take me a long time. I'm not curling the ends today. I'm just gonna let them be straight. Cause that takes way longer when I curl my ends in. And I usually go one towards my face and then one away when I do it like this. Cause it just makes it look a little bit more tousled and like, Walking in a winter wonderland. With this piece, I always curl it forward. Oh, I just did it. I literally got confused. I just said I was doing it forward and then I just did it backwards. Well, today we're doing it backwards. That's so funny. I was just like saying it in my mind. And then I always go away from the face with these ones. With the front piece, I always over direct it forward. Kind of like over to the other side of my face. Then I always take this front bit because it goes all crazy. And I just kind of flatten it down. Otherwise it sticks out super wild because it's got a lot of like little baby hairs. So I'm just gonna flatten it down like that. And then I go on to the other side. It's amazing what a curl, like look at the difference. That side's like so fluffy and gross. And then this side looks so much silkier. It's not so weird. I don't understand how it does that. It's just so odd. Like this looks so much healthier. This looks like a frizz ball. Okay. Who else has been watching that? Oh, bless her. I feel so bad for her. The Camilla, is it Camilla or Camilla? Camilla Cabello? I don't know how you say her name properly. Anyway. Oh, when she said Christmas. <laughs> Christmas. Um, I'll be home for Christmas. <laughs> me, and, me and Lily have been watching it like over and over again and just singing it all day. I feel so bad for her. She's probably like, OMG. That's so embarrassing. I would hate that. I'd hate to be a famous person. Constantly having people making fun of you. Like I don't have people making fun of me already, but on a larger scale, you know what I mean? I just feel bad for her, but it's it's just so interesting to listen to. <laughs> we just keep playing it. It's so bad. Anyway, it's getting her views, so it's fine. We're talking about her. Maybe she did that on purpose. They're like, you want to get talked about? Why don't you say Christmas instead of Christmas? And then everyone will be talking about you. And she's like, oh, that's so cringe, but okay. You never really know what happens with stars, you know what I mean? I feel like they like, okay, today you're gonna be dating this person because we really need to be talked about and you need to promote your movie. So you're gonna start dating this person until the movie premieres and then 
you don't need to anymore. Like, don't you think that's totally what happens with a lot of celebrities? Like, they just do it to get some, like, publicity? I think so. I definitely think so. Me and my all-knowing of celebrities. Well, I'm going to go back with this one as well since I accidentally went back with the other one. Normally, I always curl it forward, but I don't know. I got, I got on the spot because I was talking about it, and then I messed it up. I'll be home for Christmas. <laughs> so mean. <clears throat> and then again, I kind of pull this over to the other side. Take a little bit of the John Frieda Frizzy's Secret we Weapon Touch-Up Cream. I really like this stuff. It's really beautiful. And I'm just gonna pop that through my ends. It just like makes it so smooth and shiny. And then I'm gonna take the John Frieda Frizzy's Moisture Barrier Hairspray and I'm just gonna spray these darn little hairs down. We are done for the day. There's my hair, there's my makeup. Now I gotta get dressed probably will go up after Christmas Eve to be honest I don't know we'll see how my day goes um it'll be up at some point so I hope you guys all had a great Christmas if I put it up after I just wanted to show you how I get ready in the morning with my favorite look so there you guys go thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one